Alright guys, what's going on? Case in 41. Uh, it's pretty apparent what I'm going to do. I'm going to play this game. This game is uh, called Prison Arch Architect, if you don't know. Um, this isn't going to be a short review, like the videos, uh, the last two videos I posted. It's going to be uh, my first Let's Play series, uh, mostly. It's um, Every game I play is going to be a little bit of a tutorial of the things I know about this game. Uh, this game, I like to say, I'm pretty fairly experienced in. Uh, I don't think I am the best at it, simply because I'm not the best at any game. I will gladly admit how terrible I am at games, but I just wanted to get a Let's Play going, and I really love this game. Prison Architect, I cannot sing high enough praises for. Um, it is one of the kind of games that I have to fire up uh, every now and then, just whenever I get need my little bit of a fix. Uh, it's very interesting if you haven't heard about it. Um, just, you know, just watch this and... I'll probably be talking about it a lot because it's a slightly, pretty slow paced game. Uh, this is build Alpha 18, the most recent build. And um, basically the goal of this game is to build a prison. Um, I know, amazing, amazing, but uh, yeah. So pretty much I'm just going to play through and build a prison now. Oh my god, I love these guys though. These guys are like so cute because they're like little tiny... like. Oh, they're so chubby, but this guy's not. Everybody probably makes fun of him because he's not chubby. Everybody else is like, "Hey, man, we're like we eat a lot. Why don't you, why don't you eat a lot? Like, come on, bro, make us look terrible." Okay. Now this is a small map um, because later on I can expand on the, all sides if I want to. So I usually like to start small. Um, okay. Now there's a lot of ways to make money in this game. One is I can have my workers disassemble these trees, and I can make it into um, just wood, and I can sell the wood, or later on I can get into what else I can do with that wood. Um, you have to remember the game is in alpha. Uh, it's just alpha, and it has ridiculous amounts of items, <laughs> and a lot of rooms to do, and a lot of things to research, and a lot going for it in alpha build 18. I'm not gonna lie, this game is one of the better ones. I bought it clean back in like Alpha 10, and I I loved it. Um, it's a little bit more expensive now than whenever I picked it up, but one of my favorite features of this game is the planning feature, just simply because I can kind of plan out what I want, like prior to just throwing it down and hoping it works. Um, that is like one of my favorite things. But for now, there, I'm gonna have my guys dismantle these trees because they are seriously Jack and my style right now. They need to go. Um, one of the things that made me come back to this game is it used to only be able to go two times in this game, two times speed, like where I am right now. It used to take forever to make it through a day. So then they added three times speed, which I feel is a good balance. Um, they had to do performance uh, issue things uh, before they could actually come up with uh, three times speed because. The game's uh, AI is directly linked to. Uh, so that was terrible. I've never. Okay, I can't say I never because I do that all the time. But it was directly linked to. Um, yeah, the game's AI was directly linked to the speed at which things was going. So it made things uh, very <laughs> performance intensive. Not particularly for my computer, just for internally in the game. Like my computer would be running fine. I could do other stuff. I have a pretty beastly computer, but. I could be doing other stuff and it would work out just fine, but you could definitely tell the game was having some serious issues trying to keep up with the speed that you wanted to play. Okay, so now my little workmen have uh, made little piles out of this stuff, so I'm just going to sell this. Maybe? No? <laughs> there we go. I like to just do this. I feel like sweeping motion sells things faster. I lied. This is that was awful. Okay, so I made like two thousand dollars doing that. It's really not about the money. It was more about clearing space. Now, one thing in this job, I mean, pfft, one thing in this uh, playthrough, is going to be well, pfft, not playthrough in this game. God, what is with me today? Um, you have like this little tab, and like it even has little notes like need coffee and stuff like that. And these people are very humorous that make this game, uh, but. It's all about, like, you're going to be in this panel a lot, um, just because there's a lot of things in here. Like, it's very, it's very p compact, and you can see that it's, I need an account to get that, I need, uh, prison policy, I need the warden for that, I need contraband, I need a psychologist, 
like stuff like that like you need you need new people for stuff like that but the first thing you really want to do is get the basic detention center grant it gives you forty thousand dollars to turn your prison into a very basic prison that's not even really a prison um, it just wants you to build some things so the advance be forty thousand dollars at fifty two thousand now and the thing I love about this game is it understands that you don't know what you're doing like because there's not really a tutorial there is but there isn't it's like a little introduction scene and it's kinda like oh yeah here you go but yeah so this is the stuff it wants me to do a holding cell a shower yard kitchen canteen two guards two chefs alright check 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 to check 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 any check check double check alright Let's get this underway. So I like to do a really regimented kind of thing. Like whenever I'm done with this playthrough, you'll just see a bunch of squares. Um, simply because I don't like to be creative. Eh, I'm not gonna lie, I don't like being creative. <laughs> okay. So I know for a fact the holding cell has to be five by five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, no, too big. I don't want that. Holding cells aren't too important. Holding cells is obviously just a holding cell. Two. Three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So holding cells is a holding cell. What that's gonna do is really just hold my prisoners. Um while they uh wait for cells. And um there's different requirements for different buildings, like a holding cell has to be inside and all this stuff. And I'll kinda show you that in a second. But usually what happens is I wind up with about four blocks here. And um, that's just planning. These are just little sketches. I can delete these. I can edit these anytime I want. And I will whenever I actually build the real buildings. But let's let's get this underway. Um, what I really should have had is some kind of timer. Um, okay. So I'm going to remember that. Okay. Alright. Okay. Now I know what time it is and how long this video is going to run. Okay. I feel like I need an epic voice. I feel like all the good Let's Players have, like, epic voices. And I, I lack that. I lack a good Let's Play voice. <laughs> Alright. So, what you want to do is you go to these foundations and building. Um, the first time I ever played this game, I just went to materials and I just built, like, a brick square. And that's... They didn't put a roof. I didn't know that, but, uh, yeah. So, you get, just so you guys know. You need to go to foundations, building, and drag like that. And that'll make them put it... Um, put a roof over top of it, essentially. And there you go. And then you can remove this now if you want. Um, j I just usually do. And then my workers will get busy with that. And you can see it says require entrance. And that just means it needs a door. Um, doors are pretty easy to get. You just go to objects. And depending on what room you want, depends on what kind of door you want. Like, this is a staff door. It can, only, it can be opened up by any member of staff, not just guards. So, this is going to be my kitchen. So, I want a staff door. This is going to be my holding cell. So, I want a jail door. This is going to be my uh, canteen. So, jail door again. This will be my shower. So, jail door again. And then my guys will get busy with that. And there you go. Some rooms are popping up now. And as you can see, it's really dark inside the rooms. So you need to do this. But the one thing I do love about this game is it doesn't actually cost $5,000. They front you a generator at first. They're like, yeah, you know, you're a new prison. Here's a generator. I feel like it's either, like, a really generous state or, you know, just a really cheap warden that just, like, found one uh, hanging out and was like, hey, you know what? It'd be a good idea to uh, steal this. This is mine now. <laughs> like from a junkyard. <laughs> Just like run away with the generator. Oh, that'd be fantastic. Okay. So now they'll run around. And uh, the reason I did that is because this, um, the pump, the water pump needs to be powered by this. And you guys will kind of see that in a second. That's how much um, energy I'm using, everything like that. The water pump doesn't have a limit of the amount of water that can be pumped, uh, believe it or not. I think that's kind of weird, but hey, who cares? And now, um, I have like a clicking in my headset. And it's annoying me, because I'm hoping you guys don't have that. If you do, I apologize. Um, I have no idea what it is, though. It sounds just like my headset's not... Okay, I bet you it's probably just my headset doing it. For whatever reason. But, yeah. So, you can take um, electrical wires and run them through things like that. And certain things do require 
direct electrical hookups, but as far as most things go, like this, I'll just spread out like a little bit of an electrical grid. I'll stay in this overview so you guys can see. Like that, that little grid. Now, see how this requires a dedicated hookup? I did it over here when I should have connected it over here. It doesn't really matter, but that requires a direct electrical hookup. It won't just be powered like the lights are on that grid. You need a direct electrical hookup. Now, there's certain things you can do. Like, I can lock that open since it's going to be my cantina. It doesn't really have to be shut. I'm not trying to keep prisoners in the uh, canteen when I don't have to. Uh, same goes for the shower. It's not like I'm forcing them to stay in the shower. So, I mean, I can lock it open. And um, the things that are cool about this game is it actually tells you what you need to um, make a room of it. So I need shower heads in that room, but I'll get to that in a second. Um, this is going to be a holding cell. And it tells you, past minimum 5x5. Five five. Um, failed and closed. That's because it's paused. Since I unpaused it, that comes up. And uh, it needs a toilet and a bench. All right. Um, I don't really know why I'm acting like I don't know that. Like, I already know what it needs. But... And that's a kitchen. Kitchen doesn't have a minimum size. It'll tell you all the minimum sizes for things, like cells have a minimum size, holding cells, solitary doesn't. So you can have like a one by one solitary cell and be like, hey, no, you're staying here. Uh, right, um, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah, canteen. And then a canteen's like this. Canteen has no size. So I unpause that real quick just to make sure so everything gets this. And now these are the things that I need. I need a cooker, a fridge, and a sink to get in the kitchen. And as of Alpha 18, the cool thing they've done is they highlight things that um, are relevant to the rooms that are nearby. So it's like, okay, I recognize you have a kitchen here. Um, you need cookers for that. So it highlights cooker. And it like takes options away and adds them as you go around, just for things specific to that room type. So it's like, hey, you need a cooker, and you, yeah, you need a sink. Okay, I know you need a sink, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna offer you up a sink. And you need a fridge, I know you need a fridge, so I'm gonna offer you up a fridge. You know, it's just, it's really cool. Um, I thoroughly enjoy, <laughs> I thoroughly enjoy this game. Um, you don't need many cookers for your first couple of prisons. Um, each burner can cook a stack of ingredients. Um, so usually what I do is I usually go a little bit overboard. Two fridges, one sink, and two cookers. Um, and then my guys will get on that as soon as I unpause this, but this is the shower, so I want shower heads. And shower heads again, not something you have to go crazy with. Um, canteen requires a serving table. Yeah, you can see how much I play this game simply because I know how big a serving table is. You build these things, like, very, very sparingly, and I know exactly how big it is. <laughs> oh, I need a life. Um, okay. So you need a serving table for your chefs to put food on. Um, I didn't explain what the shower heads do because that's kind of self-explanatory. So then you need a bench for them to. S oh, you need a table for them to eat on, and a bench for them to sit on. And then the holding cell kind of just needs a bench and a toilet. And you could tell how much I played this game simply because the little squares I made already have it like already perfectly fitted out. All right. So let's just go three times speed while my guys build this stuff. I like watching my workers run around a little bit, and I'm going to take a drink just so everybody uh, knows why I stopped talking. Unless you're like, oh my god, thank you, stop talking. <laughs> anyway, so these guys are going about their busy working, and while they're doing that, I'm going to explain this. See how it's flashing for that? That means they need water, and water is not like electricity. Everything water needs a direct hookup. So I'm just gonna take large pipes because I just don't mess around with small pipes. I don't know what it is about me. I just don't like them. Simply because if you put a large pipe over anything in this game, it'll always work. If you do a small pipe, sometimes it's not enough uh, water to it. So I just, I never mess with them. I mean, like, if you guys want to do that, they are significantly less $13 a square of it, but I don't like to um, try and like figure out why my stuff isn't working, and uh, that's one reason. But as soon as they hook up a direct line to it, so as soon as they get that going, some of these will go away. Like that went away, and now it's satisfied. And coincidentally, um, I don't know why this is always because this is a need for power icon, and um, I don't know it. Like I don't know why this always has a need for power because it is the power generator. But yeah. 
if stuff doesn't isn't powered and it needs power, it'll have that little electrical bolt, but it'll be flashing. Um, okay, so I have the basic things up. So I just need two guards and two chefs. Which I'm not going to hire yet, simply because I don't have prisoners yet. I get prisoners in eight hours. Hmm. Okay. So, the other thing I like to do... Oh, thank you. The other thing I like to do... Um, this is more of like a tip. I don't want to say a pro tip, because I'm not pro. But... Your prisoners, whenever they get here, and you put them in their cells, will try to make escape tunnels. And they will try to escape your prison by digging through their toilet. And that's very frustrating, and it's very, very annoying um, to me. So I figured out um, that if you build a fence enclosing your prison, and I always like to leave a little bit more room for expanded deliveries in case I have big build orders, but if you do this, your prisoners won't just need to um, dig an escape tunnel from, say, this toilet to right here, and then they're outside, and then they just book it on the edge of the map, and they're gone. If you build this fence, they'll need to dig the tunnel beyond the fence, which in this case, the fence is right here, so they'll need to dig a tunnel this much farther over to this road, rather than just right here and be able to escape. So it's nice. I mean, it is really nice to have a big fence that goes around your prison. The only problem is, um, fences don't cost anything for some reason. I find that kind of weird. They're, they're completely free, but that's why you can just do that and erect fences wherever. And fences are a good way to just keep prisoners from not going where you don't want them to go. Um, but f this does take a while to make. I'm not, not going to beat around the bush here. It does take quite some time to make this. And my prisoners are probably going to be hanging out in my holding cell way longer than I want them to. And that'll make them pretty pissed off. But you know what? Quite frankly, I don't care. It's a prison. You shouldn't have done what you've done to get here. And then you won't have to wait in a holding cell for a week and a half. <laughs> That's one thing I hate about this game. Um, they make you... Um, I understand like humane treatment in prisons. But some of these people are entitled to way too much um, for being a prisoner that stabs somebody 37 times in the face. I'm just saying. Uh, but yeah. So, like, a lot of this game's, like, it's kind of like, um, Sims in a way that you want to keep your prisoners happy or else, but it's not Sims in a way or else if you don't keep them happy, they'll riot. Um, okay, so I have an hour until prisoners come, and I actually didn't turn on the continuous flow thing, so I can actually just deny prisoners, and I won't have any new inmates, but I need prisoners, so, or else I won't make any money. So I need prisoners. So I'm just going to let them come then. And they're just going to hang out in the holding cell. And now, the thing right here is a guard. They cost $500 for to hire and $100 per day. And I've royally screwed up already. Um, I need a door here. There we go. Um, <laughs> but yeah. So I'll hire up two guards, like it says. And two cooks. And they're going to take the long way around simply because these workers are too focused on building this fence to do anything. Um, the guards are probably going to do the same thing. Um, ah, I can't even... I can't even uh, up stuff in queue. So I'm just going to have to wait until one of my workers decides, hey, let's uh, do this. Um, these prisoners might actually try to run. That'd be a terrible start. Um, they are on lockdown, but that does not stop them from running. Um, hopefully they'll come over here and build this door fairly quickly. Um, yeah. Um, can you please install the door? Please install the door. Alright, sweet. Did my guards just leave the prisoners? They just, they just left the prisoners, like, right now. It's like, hey, you want to escape? Take three steps that way. Oh, God. Uh <laughs> <laughs> so if he escapes, I, I totally saw it coming. Um, but, yeah, escaping prisoners doesn't really do anything for you. It's just kind of like, oh, he escaped. Um, it does affect if you want to start a new prison, because there is a feature that you can sell all the assets of your remaining prison and, like, all what the game thinks it's worth, 
to um, start a new prison with a whole bunch more starting cash. And I never really got the point of that. Um, the only thing an escape prisoner does is just subtracts, like, I think it's like $100,000 from your prison value for your next um, playthrough if you wanted to do that feature. And I actually think I have it. Um, no, I don't. I don't really know where that's at. Oh, it's in the finance tab, right. So yeah, if you want to do that, you can do that. But that's really all Escape Prisoner does. It's not like you get penalized. It's not like somebody comes and like, hey, you've had prisoners escape. Minus this much money. That doesn't happen. Um, your guards do get tired, and they want to sleep. So you need to build a staff room for them. And as of right now, this video has been going on for about, uh, like 15 minutes, I think. Like, I looked at my watch uh, before that, but I'm not going to cut it off here. We don't cut off at 15 minutes. Not anymore. I'm not a newbie YouTuber. I don't have the cap. I can record six-hour videos, which I won't, but I could. Uh, I won't because I use fraps, and it just basically segments my videos off into terrible little chunks. And a six-hour video of Prison Architect would, one, take up a ton because fraps films really high-res. And, I don't know, I need to cut it down for YouTube. That's why it might look a little grainy and poopy. Um, if enough people complain about it, I will probably just go higher resolution, but then it'll take me longer to put out videos, just so you guys know. To tit for tat, kind of like a trade-off there. Um, another thing I like to build is road gates, which is a new addition in uh, the Alpha 17. Before, it used to be terrible because if prisoners would come out here to get, um, you can have uh, prisoners work in your kitchen. So they would come out here to get whatever they needed to get from the deliveries and they would just run. And it was so poopy. But now you can build road gates like that and fence that in like so. And now all of this is contained. This will be its own little area. And these road gates allow trucks to still come through, but while being locked. Um, a guard has to unlock each of it. So it is a little bit more guard intensive, but now your prisoners can't run away whenever you have them work somewhere. It's very nice, in my opinion. It was one of my favorite additions ever. <laughs> okay, so... Oop, I'm so used to just saving. So now I'm not going to take any more prisoners, simply because, I don't know, if it, if it ticks around, I don't want to have too many uh, prisoners just hanging out in here. Alright, so it's really... You can actually make this go away, I believe, somehow. I don't really know how, though. Because I've completed everything. Oh, you just accept the next one, I believe. So now we want an administrative center. Every prison needs to font... Uh, Every project needs a functioning administration facility to ensure things run smoothly and to hold the project accountable. The contract pays for a warden and an accountant in their offices, which will then give us access to the full federal grant system. Yay. So let's get that going. So I need to build two offices, hire a warden, unlock finance through bureaucracy, and hire an accountant. And offices need to be 4x4. Four four. And you can build your offices wherever, because it's staff only. Um, <laughs> your people are not going to run away. Um, Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Shit. Three, four. Oh wait, I did that for a reason. Cause, cause I like to have a divider wall between everything. Yeah, I knew I did that for a reason. <laughs> and have them build that. And that'll be our administrative center. And then my guys will get the stuff and they'll be like, oh hey, let's let's go build. Let's do this. But do do Oh. So I know why I haven't got this grant to take off yet. It's because I haven't built a yard. <laughs> Silly me. Yards just need to be outside, really. So I'm just gonna like do that. Just so they have one. Um just so they can go play in the yard. 
You can put them behind stuff you want to in your bigger prisons, but as it stands right now, my prisoners are not escaping easily, so I really don't have a reason to do that. Um, put a staff door, staff door, staff door, and then that should get that all up and going. We'll run electricity to it real quick. There we go. Get that all set up. And the reason I can't see in here is because of fog of war. Like, there's people swearing in here. I don't like that. I'm like, guard, go check that out. See what the hubbub's all about. And somebody actually is getting in a fight in here. So my guard will beat them down. My guard is now being attacked. <laughs> but he solved the problem. Everybody that was a problem has now been neutralized for the moment. But my guard's severely hurt. And I'll have to address that later simply because I don't have the stuff I need to take care of that. Um, so now offices require... I always... I can't find them. There we are. Offices require a couple of things. Um, first of all, a desk. 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 I like my stuff to be like very regimented. I don't have much of a creative mind. Um, like so, there we go, and then that'll get those offices all set up as soon as they're done. Um, he's actually unconscious, he's supposed to go to solitary confinement, which I don't have <laughs> yet, so he can't go, so he's gonna he's gonna want to be in, go with solitary for a long while. Um, getting the prison started takes, <laughs> what was that, what kind of accent? Um, <laughs> getting your prison started is um <laughs> uh, probably like one of the longer running things in the game, like it takes a while. Um, uh, just because, you know, it's hard to start the prison, but once it's up and going, like, it's pretty pretty easy. Um, that's the amount of money I get. Um, uh, normal prisoners are worth 50, I mean 100. Low risk prisoners are worth 50, and high risk, I believe, are worth 150. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. Normal risk prisoners um, did like normal crimes like petty larceny, sometimes like small degrees of murder, low risk, I've only like stolen things, they haven't hurt anybody. Um, why is that staff door like that? Um, there we go. Um, they've done like low risk things, like stolen things, never really hurt anybody, and high risk prisoners are pretty much your murderers, your rapists. Like, uh, pretty bad things. I actually don't think anybody commits rape in this game. <laughs> so, eh. I think I jumped to conclusions, but, yeah. And then this is your bureaucracy screen. You research things in the game. you got to remember it's alpha, so there is only a little bit of things. But, I mean, for being alpha, it is it does have a lot to offer. Okay, so I'll get this guy. And now, what I really want to do is, right now, I'll just give my prisoners tons and tons of free time so they can be pretty happy with their lives um... okay so he's gonna do that and he's researching that right there and you need your prisoners to be happy or else stuff like that happens and they fight now there's two things I'm gonna do here um... I have fifty thousand dollars so what I'm gonna do with that right now is I'm going to build a staff room which is how big? seven by seven All right. 7x7, seven seven. Um, and I'm going to build this up, and it's a staff room, so, I mean, I really only need a staff door, and what this room's used for is your people get tired, you see how he has that little bar and it says resting, he's resting very, the bars are storing like very, very slow, because he's resting outside on the cold hard ground, what he really wants is to rest inside a lounge with a soda machine, yes, soda machine, they have that, but that's what they want. So basically what you do is you staff room and it does have um, some minimal things like sofa chair and drinking machine. I like to give them wide sofas because I enjoy wide sofas myself. And then some drink machines. And this becomes vitally important in larger prisons whenever you have multiple amounts of guys going around whenever you have like 20, 30 guards. 
just because they need to get back on their feet very, very quick, and them resting on the ground is not a viable option. I don't... Oh, no. The lights need power. I was like, I don't know why sofas need electricity, but yeah. So now whenever my staff's tired, um, tired enough that they need to go rest, they will go here and rest. Um, I need more energy. Um, what I'm going to show you how to do is you take a capacitor, you plop it next to it, and it'll give it a whole nother bar. And it's kind of nice. Um, as soon as one of my guys gets around it, there he goes. And you'll watch him put that up there and install that. And then you can watch the bar tick up. It'll make a cool little sound. There you are. Alright. Uh, it's feeding time for the prisoners. Um, I don't much care for the fight that happened last time, so I'm going to send him in there really quick. Okay, there's nothing going on. Good. Lest my guards have to beat down some people. Alright, this video has been a solid 20 minutes. Um, thanks for watching, guys. This is Prison Architect, like I said before. This is the very basic start. Um, I will be explaining stuff as I go through the game. Um, this series will run basically, um, I don't know, until I feel like it's run its course, until people stop watching it, until um, stuff like that happens. Um, I know I didn't do too much. Um, I know I explained a lot. I know I talked a lot. But hey, it's kind of what Let's Plays are. Um, hopefully you guys like the game. If you want it, I'll put a link to it in the description um, for Steam, to buy it on Steam Early Access. Um, but that's about all I have to say right now. Um, we'll come back to this very, very shortly, and I'll see you guys next time.